So um, if you're a hippie and you're a nerd, this project is perfect for you. Hello crypto friends, today I'm going to show you the status update for my solar mining rig with the 2700X new Ryzen 7 CPU miner and the two 200 watt solar panels with two 100 amps batteries. So I'll show you what uh, basically what happened in the past two weeks. Um, how much I managed to make and did the battery and the solar panel actually managed to mine 24 7 I'm also gonna go over some uh, benchmarks and see if the all the components survive the heat and all the stress and maybe even play on solar the smart charger controller controls how much power comes from the Sun from the solar panels and goes to the battery let's take a look at the numbers Let's start by looking at uh, what's going on right now. It's 6 p.m. The sun is pretty much not down all the way, but it is down. It's 64 watts total from the two panels, and we are charging the battery at 4.9 amps at 12 volts. That's pretty impressive, actually. I did switch to a bigger solar controller because I wanted to reach um, above 200 watt range. And you can see that um, yesterday I managed to get up to 242 watts max from the solar panels. Six days ago I managed to get 254 watts so we definitely see the solar panels rocking it and if you see here four days ago you see how it looks a little different on the top because it started at a different stage of charging. There's three different stages of charging. Bulk is basically where the battery just charged full time and it started to slow down the charging process because the battery started to get full which is pretty amazing and I think what happened is that I started to underclock it um, around five days ago and that's why I actually produced more than I consumed a lot more so the battery is almost charged full so I played with the configuration and I learned that um, it did turn off a few times it, it turned off one time because it was under voltage so the batteries were a little too low of a voltage 10 volts or lower and the power supply couldn't give the power so it shut off Another time, I think it also shut off of over voltage. Um, four days ago, when it actually reached the peak of the battery, I think it's also shut off. Voltage was too high of the batteries. Um, it reached up to 16 volts, and it's possible that the power supply shut off. So I would say that the only thing that I will switch in the system is the power supply, because look how small the power supply is here. And it definitely needs something bigger. And there are bigger ones that up to 250 watts. That will probably be better for a system like this. But it does work. It just doesn't get the performance that I was looking for. Now you're probably asking how much I made within the two weeks. And to be honest with you, it's mining pretty much 24-7. And even sometimes I turn on the mining on the 1030. So I was actually managed to reach a pretty um, impressive numbers up to a dollar a day. But I think I've averaged about 60 cents per day. So within the 12 days, um, maybe I made a maximum of six, seven, eight dollars. Uh, but it was 100% from the sun. I will do a little test for you guys again. This is completely solar right now. And I'm going to mine both on the CPU and GPU, which I did sometimes when I noticed the battery is full. And it's worked perfectly. Of course, the voltage of the batteries will drop. You can see if I move the screen a little bit, you can see the two batteries right there. Uh, connected together. That's from the first video you saw. And here are the numbers for the mining. Um, the CPU, the Ryzen, gets uh, 57 cents per day and the 1030 gets only 15 cents per day. And together they make about 70 cents per day. But remember, 100% from the sun, which is pretty impressive. Now, I wanted to test something out here. I do have a mouse, I do have a mechanical keyboard here. Um, should we try to play some games on solar? Well, before we start playing Fortnite, look what I have found. This is a adapter, a cigarette adapter for battery. I used this on my first solar experiment, where you guys recommended me not to do that because of all the power supply. And I found an inverter with some power connection to be able to plug it to the screen so I can actually power the screen and the computer and the mouse <laughs> and this LED um, speaker and the screen all from the battery from solar while you know seeing how much uh, wattage we are creating from the sun and playing Fortnite 100% from the sun 
other than of course the network cable that we have to use for the Ethernet. Other than that, all of it will be solar. So let's start doing that. I just have to uh, plug a few things in and that's it. All right, guys, it does work. Here is the uh, inverter. Here is the screen. Um, here is how much solar we are making, 43 watts. It's all working. And it must be one of the most uncomfortable gaming setups I've ever seen. So it's updating Fortnite right now. I'm going to wait for it to load up. And then <laughs> we'll do some benchmarks, solar benchmarks, right? And um, we'll play some Fortnite. All right. Remember, this is 100% solar, okay? 100%. Screen, speaker, everything is solar here. Crazy. Mouse, this cool keyboard that I got from Ben. My friend gave it to me for free. All solar. All right. Yeah, I'm going. I'm getting solid uh, 60 FPS, no problem. Wow, playing on solar. Okay, the game is starting. Solar Fortnite, yeah? You understand what's going on? Okay, let's follow my guy. Some guns, bro. Oh, here we go. So um, if you're a hippie and you're a nerd, this project is perfect for you. You're going to save the planet and you're going to have to solder a lot of stuff <laughs> to set it up. Oh no, where is he? He died. Okay, my friend died. Where are they? Where are they? For sure they know about me.
I'm gonna go a little bit at the edge of the map and see um, if I can find some people there. I'm dead. Oh man, number 43. Wow. Not bad. Here is the solar panel and it's all working. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this Fortnite gaming mining setup with a 2700X from Ryzen AMD CPU and a 1030 GTX from Nvidia graphics card. And if you like this video, if you like it, thumbs down. If you didn't like it, don't forget to subscribe, of course, to my channel. I'll set up videos all the time. My next destination is actually Philippines, so it might take me a while to do another video. But if you subscribe, you'll be able to, and, and hit the notification, you'll be able to see the next video that I'm going to post in the Philippines. I'll see you guys until the next time. Bye-bye.